good day. Here are the top stories of the Manila Times for Wednesday, September 1, 2021. The page one banner headline reads, IMEI's team up with Sarah, says Duterte. On Tuesday, President Rodrigo Duterte disclosed that Senator Maria Imelda Josefa Aimi Marcos intends to seek the country's second highest political office should Davao City Mayor Sara Duterte Carpio pursue her bid for the presidency in the 2022 elections. Damfrel pushes electoral reforms. Election watchdog National Citizens Movement for Free Elections, or Namfrel, has expressed the need for the Commission on Elections to implement a single standard in the listing of candidates on the ballot, among other reforms, to ensure the integrity of votes in the 2022 national and local elections. Delta now dominant variant, says WHO. The World Health Organization, or WHO, has confirmed that Delta is now the dominant COVID-19 variant in the Philippines, and it is spreading in the community. Meanwhile, in other news, Philippine insurance industry upbeat despite COVID. Industry experts expressed optimism on the insurance market despite the lingering impact of the COVID-19 pandemic on players, policyholders, and broader economy. Government to lower swab test prices further The government is set to reduce the price cap on reverse transcription polymerase chain reaction tests to allow more people to be tested for COVID-19 amid rising cases. FDA to allow booster shots The Food and Drug Administration, or FDA, will allow doctors to give booster doses of the community vaccine from Pfizer and BioNTech once it is given full authorization in the country. Caloacan opens two jab sites for Muslims. On Tuesday, Caloacan City Mayor Oscar Oka Malapitan announced the opening of two vaccination sites for members of the Muslim community in the city. In regional news, BIFF commander and cohorts surrender in Maguindanao. An elite force commander of the Karyalan faction of the Bangsamore Islamic Freedom Fighters, or BIFF, and the level of his followers surrendered to the Joint Task Force Central at the headquarters of the 1st Mechanized Brigade in Ampatuan, Maguindanao on Monday. In world news, UN calls for tough acts for ecosystems. On Monday, Tuesday in Manila, United Nations or UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres called for bold action to safeguard biodiversity. Gulf faces unlivable heat, says UN. Gulf cities such as Dubai are known for their scorching summers, but experts warn climate change could soon make parts of the fossil fuel region unlivable for humans. In business, BSP says inflation likely accelerated in August. Higher energy and food prices, as well as a weaker peso, likely accelerated the country's headline inflation rate in August, according to the Banco Central ng Pilipinas, or BSP. And in sports, San Miguel resumes bid to take back PBA Philippine Cup. Prior to Barangay Hinebra's conquest of PBA's bubble tournament last year, San Miguel Beer had ruled the Philippine Cup for five straight years. Rigoberto Tiglao and Father Anilio Aquino are the featured columnists on the front page of the Times. Tiglao points out, squatter's promise reveals Pacquiao's intellectual and political stupidity. Father Aquino explains why OBE must be reinvented. In the Times editorial, it is pleaded, don't spoil Boracay with a casino. Read all about it. For more news and information, get a copy of the Manila Times on print. Subscribe to our digital edition or log on to www.manilatimes.net. Follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. And keep up with the Times. With Eric John Sikua, Paolo Di Mapi, and Christian Maghanoi, this is the Fort Villaseran reporting. Have a great week.